Hyoka is such a good mystery anime because it provides so many different unique stories that you actually want answers to. Eru Chitanda is a high school girl who has to solve mysteries, and Hotoro, the main character, is the only one who can help figure things out. I wasn't expecting to be so enthralled by this anime, but it crept up on me. There are so many great things about this show in general, but I want to focus on the entertainment value. You see, as humans, we all want to know the truth of things. It's why we search for meaning, love, murder mysteries, and it's also why you clicked on this YouTube video. You want to satisfy your curiosity. Every person does this without thinking. Did I really need to know five different ways to clean a drain pipe? No, probably not, but I was curious. That's why this mystery anime is so satisfying to watch. It develops an intrigue and makes you want to know the answer, and then it completes the mystery in a neat little bow. But after finishing one mystery, it starts another one, creating an endless cycle of binge-worthy content. I swear, I watched five episodes and I didn't even realize it by the time I checked the episode count on Crunchyroll. What's more is that this anime is very well made. I was super impressed by the animation. I knew it was from 2012 but I had to double check because the animation was insanely clean and crisp for a 10 year old anime. The music is beautiful too. I recognized that it was classical music that was being played. Apparently they used box cello suite number one quite often as well as box air on G string and it gives the show a certain professional ambiance. Like, hey, this is a cinematic event, so listen up. You get ensnared by the high quality music and amazing animation, but the plot lures you deeper into intrigue. It's honestly a perfect blend of all things great in an anime. Another one of those great things is that it's very clean with no fan service. It's just a wholesome, good slice of life anime. Typically, I don't like the slice of life genre, but this show really doesn't even feel like one because it has an overarching mystery of what happened to Chitanda's uncle. So technically, I have only made it through the first 10 episodes, but I highly enjoy this show. So I wanted to recommend it to you guys as soon as possible. I'm very hopeful of this anime continuing its very entertaining plot. I'll have to do a review when I finish it. The show also has great characters. Chitanda is very likable in my opinion. She is genuinely curious, and I think she heavily influenced Hotoro, making him begin to care about things and put in some actual effort into life. She is a peculiar peculiar anime girl though because she seems to have all kinds of mysteries about her but she also says that she doesn't like to talk about her past and maybe I can identify with her since she is a top student in her class and is seemingly a goody two-shoes. That's exactly who I was in school so I can see where she is coming from on a fundamental level. Hotaro is a different story though. He rarely gets enthused about anything until a sweet and curious girl comes along. He also has an incredible knack for solving cases and that's the main draw to this anime for me. There's nothing better than an OP analytical anime character, and hopefully you can see why I identify with that trope. Ibarra and Fukubi are cool, Ibarra helps counter the social dynamic, and Fukubi is pretty funny and a linchpin for the group. There are lots of great things about this show, and I am ready to see so much more. It's sad, but they only have one season. Have you guys seen this show? Let me know in the comments down below, and please subscribe for more anime content. Hyoka is a great watch and it pleasantly surprised me with its seemingly endless mysteries. So put this anime on your watch list if you haven't seen it and make sure to check out my other recommendations. That's all for now. This is the Eagle-Eyed Samurai, signing off.